Hi, I'm Michael Morton, President of the Senate of College Councils. And I'm Andrew Clark, Senate's Vice President. The fall semester is in full swing and Senate has been working on various initiatives and projects, all designed to improve the student experience and strengthen academics on campus. With assistance from various campus entities, Senate is working on reforming the university's core curriculum to create pathways, or as we call them, streams, for students to navigate their way through the 42-hour required core curriculum and see how these courses can be more than just a checklist. Recently, Senate completed a detailed campus-wide survey on the core curriculum and gathered extensive information from students about their feelings regarding the core. This information will help guide Senate as we continue to work on strengthening this important part of undergraduate education. In addition to a focus on core curriculum, Senate is playing an active role in the Invest in Texas campaign, a nonpartisan student-led legislative effort designed to make sure students are heard at the Capitol. We are currently planning for three strategic legislative days during the 2013 session and fully intend to have the greatest student presence at the Capitol in our, in our organization's history. Since our last newsletter, Senate's seen great work from all of its internal standing committees. We've passed legislation on freshman advising, and we're now turning our attention to initiatives like improving the interactive degree audit, making it easier for dual degree students to graduate, and standardizing degree plans across the colleges. This week, our college councils will cast a vote for the wording of a new university honor code, which will read, as a student of the University of Texas at Austin, I shall uphold the core values of this university and shall neither participate nor tolerate academic dishonesty. Finally, I'm very excited to announce a new initiative Senate will be taking on in the coming weeks to help address gender equity among our faculty. This is still in its preliminary stages, but will chiefly re revolve around data collection and ensuring that the university has the necessary information to assess equity and climate issues. Stay tuned for more information on this important endeavor. Along with these efforts, last week's Senate also hosted the first ever Academic Expo. The two-day outdoor exhibition, which was sponsored by the Office of the Dean of Students, showcased academic services, programs, and the activities of Senate and the 20 college councils. More than 1,000 students visited the Academic Expo on Gregory Plaza each day and were able to be a part of a unique venue where they could learn about the organizations that represent their academic interest, interact with student leaders, give feedback and input on issues, and explore the wealth of opportunities here at UT Austin. On behalf of Andrew, the 20 college councils, and all of Senate's internal members, I want to thank all of you for your help and participation in the Academic Expo and for your continued support of this organization and its mission. We wish everyone the best as we work together to strengthen this university each and every day.